The people call Vincenzo to the stand. <laughs> Sit down. Not you. Juror number two. He yelled at me, but look at her. She pushed her chair up nice and close. You mind if I kick off my shoes? My feet are a little moist. I am the meat in an idiot sandwich. <laughs> Mr. Vincenzo, tell us what happened the night you were attacked. I was asleep. My housekeeper, Kiki, hovered over my bed. I thought I was dreaming. Then the woman just chopped all of it off. <laughs> and that's why they don't allow female moils. <laughs> Mr. Vincenzo, have you experienced emotional distress as a result of this attack? Of course. God knows if it will grow back. <laughs> The mala femmina. My career is ruined. Look what she did to me. I like it. <laughs> you lose the earring, it's a little too Mr. Clean. Mr. Vincenzo, why would Miss Hansen want to attack you? I don't know. In fact, I told her. I love her. <gasps> Give her the chair, pass it down. <laughs> Your witness. Mr. Vincenzo, tell the court what you did after you told Miss Hansen that you loved her. I took it back. This trial, that woman is 100% absolutely not guilty. <laughs> oh, just look at that poor girl. See, that is what happens when a man tells you that he loves you and then he takes it back. Any woman in her position would have done the exact same thing. What are you looking for? My ducks are trim. <laughs> Miss Hansen, you claim not to have a key to Vincenzo's room. Yet, as his live in maid, you must have total access to every room in the house. Oh, this is so low. They're playing the domestic help card. <laughs> Can you tell us how your fingerprints got onto People's Exhibit Number Six? I don't know. And how did you get those cuts on your hands? I don't know. <laughs> She's just so obviously innocent. <laughs> Investigators uncovered a size 8 Manolo Blahnik stiletto heel print at the scene. In your deposition, you claim that you would never own such an ugly pair of shoes. How do you explain this photograph? <laughs> Obviously been doctored. I mean, those shoes are white. The crime took place after Labor Day. There goes the whole timeline. There's a voice in here that's really irritating me. Hey, shut up over there. <laughs> you lied about these shoes. You lied about being in his room that night. And you lied about using those scissors to deform him, didn't you? I would never hurt Vincenzo. I knew him when he was just Bernie Schwartzberg. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else would have killed him. All I did was cut his hair. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> did you hear that? I don't believe it. He's Jewish. <laughs> 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 